Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about energy and to be specific, some lifestyle things that you can do which can seriously elevate your energy. Like let me tell you now, these things work, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, please do remember to give it a thumbs up to let me know. And also if you watched this video and you enjoyed it, then don't forget to click that subscribe button as well and come join the team so you don't miss any future videos. And let's just get straight into it and elevate our energy. Okay guys, so we are starting off in the bedroom, but you weren't expecting that scenery change. So the first tip I wanna talk about, which seriously can elevate your energy first thing in the morning, is getting your exposure to some natural light. Now, the cheapest and free way to do this is as soon as you wake up, get your curtains, your blinds open and just let all that light pour into the room. When we expose ourselves to natural light first thing in the morning, it sends all the signals to the body that it's time to wake up and it's very regulating for the circadian rhythm. But also you do notice like as soon as you get that boost of natural light, like you can feel like it is an energizer in the body. I definitely can feel that. And that is really the reason why people don't like doing it. Like, you know, when you're a teen or you may be doing it as an adult, um, you know, if someone comes in and opens up the blinds or something um, and it's like that light hits you and you're like, no, and it's like your eyes hurt and you go under the covers. You're like, no, I don't I want to stay in bed. Well, that's exactly what you're fighting because that light is going to wake you up. Now, to take this one step further, and the reason why I'm crouched next to my bed is I want to speak about the device that I use. So this is a Lumi light. It's like a, an alarm clock. I treated myself to this when it was Black Friday and... Oh my God, I am obsessed with this thing. This is basically an alarm clock which wakes you up to natural light. I mean, obviously it's not natural, but it replicates natural light. So it sends all the same signaling to the body. So what you do is you just set the time you wanna wake up in the morning and then about 50 to 20 minutes before, the light gradually starts increasing. So it starts as this like red color, which is, you can't really see on the screen right now. Um, and then it just progressively starts to lighten and it really gradually wakes you up. And I have to say, I 100% totally vouch for this. It really does work. Also, when you wake up from an alarm first thing in the morning, that can be a really stressful way to start the day. Like think about it, you're lying in bed, all lovely and peaceful, and then you get like ah, ah, or, ah, 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 whatever it is and it startles you and that is quite stressful whereas this because it's over a gradual period of time and obviously the light is more natural for the body you wake up so much more peacefully and I'm definitely at the point with this now where if I don't use it that morning or say like Rob's alarm wakes me up before this comes on I notice a difference for sure in my energy and just, yeah, how I am in the morning. So I absolutely love this. My review of it is absolutely fantastic. Um, I really recommend it. I'll leave the link down below if you want to go check them out. There's all like different types you can get from Lumi. Uh, but this is the one I got. Um, but you can also get them from other brands as well. Um, the other thing also just to say I really like about this, which is a little bit of a side thing from today's video, but just just while I'm doing a review on it. And um, there's also another feature where you can set, it's called the sunset setting. And I don't use this all the time, but I think it's a really nice feature, you know, especially if I'm really trying to up my self care in the evening. And basically what it does is it starts on the brightest and then gradually over the period of time in the evening, the light will dim and it does the opposite. It helps to stimulate your body that it is time to go to sleep. So it can actually aid in a good night's sleep as well. It's honestly game changing. Okay, so tip number two, I wanna talk a little bit about sleep. Now, the tip is definitely not, you know, get enough sleep. I mean, that could be part of it, but that's not the point of this tip. <laughs> we know that we need sleep. The key point of this tip is that although we know that undersleeping can obviously make us tired, we can also get the same effects from oversleeping. And this is something which I definitely see in myself. And honestly, I think this is something which isn't really spoken about enough because I definitely don't see it around too many places. All I see usually when it comes to sleep is just making sure you're getting enough sleep and you know, supporting the quality of your sleep, which is all fantastic. But let's talk about oversleeping. And um, what's a really easy mentality to get into as well, particularly if we do you know, work a really, really busy life is like Monday to Friday, we could start like neglecting the sleep a bit and then we have this mentality of oh I'll catch up on the weekend and then you might have like a really long lie-in on like Saturday morning Sunday morning and actually having that mindset and living that kind of um routine is actually going to be making you 
far more tired. Let's break down like, the science behind why oversleeping may, may actually make you feel more tired. Firstly, it's all about the sleep cycles. So throughout our normal sleep cycle, roughly um, we would have about five sleep cycles, which kind of equates to about 7.5 to like eight hours of sleep, which is where, you know, that's where that number really comes from as optimal sleep. However, I do just want to say in terms of optimal sleep, this can actually differ between person to person. So it's not like it's 7.5 or eight hours for every single person out there. You need to figure out what your sweet spot is. But anyway, going back to oversleeping. So if we go over our kind of optimal point, we can actually enter a new sleep cycle. Now, when you go into a sleep cycle, there's lots of different phases of a sleep sleep. <laughs> I'm getting like so so many S's right now and so many S's and C's right now. In a sleep cycle, there is lots of different phases. And what tends to happen is that when you oversleep, when you do wake up, you're more likely to wake up in um, like the deeper part of that sleep cycle. So it's either the REM sleep stage or I believe it's um, like stage three and four of the sleep cycle. Um, and yeah, if you're gonna wake up from being in a really deep sleep state, you're gonna feel groggy, 100%. So the way that we can combat this and support our sleep and our energy is to try and create a consistent routine. And I think the biggest hurdle is really getting over that weekend mindset of, oh, I'll sleep extra and catch up on sleep then. Like you need to realize that is not the way the body works. And the sooner you realize that and focus on, okay, I need to be more consistent with my sleep, including on weekends, Honestly, that should make a big difference to how you feel and your energy throughout the day. Okay, so my next tip, I'm in the kitchen because I wanna talk about a supplement which I take with my breakfast every single morning. Now, this is all about vitamin D. Now, as we know, we can get vitamin D from the sun, but because I do live in the UK and the sun is a little bit unpredictable, um, I do take a vitamin D supplement. Now, the one that I'm taking at the moment is by the brand Pharma Nord. I'll leave this one linked down below. And it's a bio vitamin D3. So when you get a vitamin D supplement, you want to make sure it is D3, because um, that is the best absorbed um, form of vitamin D. Um, and this is 5,000 in national units. Now, um, when you see the numbers, that is important to really pay attention to. Like if your vitamin D is like a thousand international units, that is quite low. I would say 2,500 would be the minimum that you'd really want to get. Um, but yeah, I'm taking 5,000 at the moment and wow, like I actually upped my doses of vitamin D recently. Um, I was on 2,500 and I went up to 5,000 and I noticed a difference since taking these. Um, these are tiny little tablets as well, by the way. So if you're someone who doesn't like swallowing um, tablets, like especially if, you know, big ones, you might really get on with these because they are really, really small. But yeah, I think that in relation to today's video and energy, this is something really important to mention because vitamin D is something which we don't really get from many food sources. So we do rely uh, like heavily really on getting sun exposure um, and from the very, very few sources that we do have. So it is quite common that if you do live in a climate which um, you know maybe you don't get as much sun, it's not as hot for example, then it is quite easy to tip more onto the deficient side. If you are completely unsure whether your vitamin D levels are low and you have no clue whether you need a supplement, just go down to your doctor and speak to them and ask them if they can just test your vitamin D levels and then you can have a clear result and then you can go from there whether you want to supplement or not. But if your levels are low, that can definitely be a reason why you're feeling a little bit tired and just sluggish throughout the day. Okay guys, so we are in the car because the next tip that I have found really, really does help with my energy day to day is getting in my exercise. So I'm actually off to the gym and what I wanna say on this point is you don't need to go to the gym or it doesn't even have to be the gym. It could be any form of exercise that you enjoy um, and that might be going for longer walks or I don't know, anything. It could be going to like a boxing club or doing a class or dancing, whatever that might be. It's not all about like, the length of time you're doing that activity. It's just about showing up like you know sometimes I'll go to the gym and you know I'll do like 30 minutes 
that's great and I really enjoy that and it does it just gives me that boost of energy um, it really does release those endorphins it makes me feel absolutely great think about it if we are sitting in the same like seat all day working and we're not really moving too much um, or you know if we're not working if you're just spending a lot of time just kind of indoors not really doing much yet yeah, movement it is going to affect you mentally and it is going to make you feel more sluggish and that's going to kind of spiral into other choices you make in the day over on my vlog channel I've been sharing a lot more of my fitness journey and just kind of my attitude towards the gym and like my big goal for this year is really just getting exercise into my day-to-day -day life which I really enjoy I don't want it to feel a drag I don't want it to feel like a chore and I feel like I'm really achieving that and I cannot tell you the difference it has made in my mental state but also my energy day-to-day -day. so yeah definitely going to include it in today's video to give you that little reminder but yeah I'm going to go head off to the gym and you are going to go to the next point <laughs> okay so the next tip for me is a really big one this is something that I really emphasize in my day um, and make sure that I include and it is a walk so when I say go for a walk it doesn't need to be something crazy like me and Rob will literally just take a break um, from our screens and we'll go on a walk for like 15 20 minutes but that is still enough to you know get us outside get us away from the screens because that's really the, the key thing in this as well is that you know particularly if you you know either work from home work in an office whatever it might be a lot of us are working on computers and like you know and technology basically and that strain on the eyes and particularly you know when you're focusing like that is such an energy drainer so it's important to make sure you have time away from the screen um, and I also like to go for a walk because then that gets in a bit of movement it's also so energizing getting a um, you know a good rush of fresh air as well and um, like when we're stuck indoors and we've got the same air circulating and um, after a while that can start to have a bit of effect on our brain function and start making us feel a little bit drowsy so getting outside in that fresh air honestly it's like a shot of caffeine to the system so i challenge you to get outside go on a walk even if it's a five minute ten minute walk or if you've got a bit more time go for a longer one but the challenge is set i want you to make sure you prioritize that into your day and then let me know how how you feel because I also find my motivation really spikes as well after a walk like having that disconnect from my screen just kind of getting away from everything um, it just gives me that space to kind of think but also just to kind of disconnect really and then when I come back I feel so much more recharged okay guys they were my five key lifestyle tips to really energize you if you do try any of these please do let me know and let me know how you get on in the comments or if there's any other things like lifestyle factors that you're like oh my god this helps my energy so much let me know I don't want to hear caffeine no coffee is not we should be relying on coffee okay to get us through the day you're relying on coffee we need to talk but yeah any other lifestyle factors let me know in the comments below and um, if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up also let me know what you thought about the style of this video is a little bit different than my normal content um, and if you haven't already make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any future videos from me but anyway i'm sending you guys all my love and positivity and i'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye